Hello, we're PanPod. My name is Tassilo. And my name is Thomas. And we're here at Riverside Studios in our studio. And uh, we're going to record some shakers today. So we're uh, recording two shakers, one high shaker, one low shaker. This is the low shaker. Um, later in the production we're going to layer it and we're going to position the shakers like the low shaker on the right side, the right panning. On the left side we're going to use uh, the high shaker in 16th and the right side going to be the low shaker with 8th notes and uh, Tom is going to play us some nice Sorry, like for the low, sh low shaker, we also take like single notes. Yes, one leg. And here's a 16. Um, for the positioning and the mic, we're going to go back a little bit because it's um, quite loud signal. We're going to turn down the gain a little bit of the uh, preamp. And yeah, perfect like that. In our last video, we showed you um, how to record the kalimba and how to implement it into the production. Now we got the shakers. We had two shakers, one low shaker. We recorded the uh, eighth note on the off. It's this one here. And then we have the high shaker on the 16th. And we have the low shaker with kind of, let's call it shaker roll. Um, so, you know, it's uh, it's like a rhythmical signal, so we did some time correction, but not too much, because the problem is with shakers, it's a very natural and human thing, so the best to get like the right pattern, like the right rhythmical pattern, is to record it for some time to get it played right, basically, because as soon as you start doing a lot of warping, as you call it, in Ableton Live, it kind of, you never get it right in time because it's like, and we did like some science about the shaker recording, it's, it's, it's better to get like a right recording which is in time, so that means like you have to record for like half minute or a minute, and uh, then doing it in, like a, with a lot of warping. Um, we did a little bit of correction, but not too much. Thomas played a good, good piece of part actually. Uh, so we're happy with what we got. For the um, effects work or for the dynamics, we just used a um, low cut filter or low cut EQ here uh, on both shakers, on all three shakers, and we compressed it and put some side chain, uh, side chain signal from the kick drum to give it a little bit of pumping here. Same with the eighth shaker. And for the separation, for uh, the, it's basically about panning, so we're going to take the eighth shaker to the right side, like about uh, 32. Same for the low, uh, high shaker, the 16th. And we're going to keep the, like this kind of roll shaker in the middle. And now we just need to put it into the production and see like how we're going to fit it best with volume and some more EQing maybe. So now we have the shakers in the production. Uh, we have the something here on the left. The eight shaker on the right. And then the off shaker, uh, the shaker roll from the middle. So we're going to group all these three, uh, three signals and from there on we're going to compress it again First of all we're going to sidechain it with uh, the input from the kick drum and this is like everything Concerning like with the sidechain compression because we, we want to get it like pumping so this kind of you know it's the, the kick drum pumps away um, always the signal like the shaker signals signals while the kick drum is playing 
and this can be quite heavy. So let's see how we get the bass here. Get the ratio of two forty-seven to one. Take a short release. And also short attack. So let's see how it sounds like in combination with the rest. that's okay for now. Okay, one of the best reasons for us is to uh, recording uh, your own shaker is because you get like a natural swing, you know, it makes like the track more, yeah, more, more, more human, more human, exactly, not so static, because if you're programming a shaker, it's more like, okay, you have, maybe you have like, you can also program like swing inside, but it's just the same swing, like a human swing, like a natural yeah, swing. it's very static. And, uh, yeah, and this human swing, what you do by yourself, is actually unique because from you, <laughs> you make it exactly how you like it, and it gives you like, ex or you, you track like a really natural swinging shaker sound, what we both really, really like actually. <laughs> 